Well, guys, it's back. A game I love so dearly. One of my favorite games I have ever played. Titanfall 2. Respawn has finally fixed the servers. And well, I couldn't be happier. I can finally play Titanfall in my beloved North Star once again. Yes, for, obviously you won't know. I've never played Titanfall on the channel. I'm a North Star main. I love North Star. And, uh... Yeah, I use Stim Pilot, North Star. Uh, but I can finally play Titanfall 2 again. After three long, agonizing years, the f servers are finally not being DDoSed anymore. And you know what? I couldn't be happier. Titanfall 2 has had a big part of my life. Mostly me playing on the Xbox, but whenever I saw it was on sale a couple of years, like a year or two ago, I decided to pick it up. It was like $4. It obviously didn't work, so I downloaded the North Star engine to be able to actually play. And then, until a couple of weeks ago, well, not really a couple of weeks ago, until really a couple of days, no, no, it was a couple of weeks ago, I was informed that they fixed the servers. And then it didn't occur to me until yesterday to try playing the game. And well, if the new high, highest peak of players that's happened recently isn't enough to prove to you that the game is fixed, and also the fact that you can actually play matches now without getting kicked off the game isn't enough to prove that the game is fixed, and the fact that Respawn CEO really like wants to make another Titanfall game. Is it enough to, to to prove to you that it's fixed and that they love their game still? And I don't know what is, but it's all because of big corporate CEO EA. God damn it, EA! Fuck you for ruining all the good games. First it was Dead Space, then Titanfall. But we remember EA. We will remember. Fuck you. And as everyone knows, games called TF2 will never die. We have Valve never updating Team Fortress 2, except recently with a new all-time peak of players playing the game. Over 240,000 people playing the game at the same time. And now we've got Titanfall 2, the other TF2. In my opinion, they're both about the same goodness of the game. I love both games. But if I had to choose one, well, only one of them has my beloved North Star. And I'll let you decide which one that is. Hint, hint. It's the one this video is about. But, I digress. The fact that Titanfall 2 has been fixed after three years is crazy. I thought Respawn just forgot about their game. They were never going to fix it. Hell, I've even heard people recently saying that they're going to make Titanfall 3. Now, is that true? I don't really know. And is that true? I hope so. I hope it's true. But I don't know for sure. But, that's beside the point. If they don't ever make Titanfall 3, then I guess we'll just have to stick with Titanfall 2. But, if they do make Titanfall 3... Well, then that's going to be one hell of a time. Although, Respawn Entertainment is not Valve. They can actually count to three, I hope. But, who knows? Maybe maybe, maybe EA can't count to three. I mean, then again, EA and Valve are like best friends. So, it would make sense, I guess. All the brain rot got from, that went from Valve to EA. Well, no, never mind. EA is already pretty fucking brain rotted. Putting like 15 microtransactions in fucking Dead Space 3. Five, three of which are five dollars each and are for a goddamn robot you find in the game. Oh my god, that, oh god, that was stupid. So basically, for context, in Dead Space 3, there is like 15 DLC, okay? And three of them, which were five dollars each, were for this robot that you got in the game. And they make it better. So the first one, it made it do its job faster. The second one, 
gave it more inventory space. And you wanna know what the third one did? It gave it a fucking voice. The third one gave it a goddamn voice. Why did why did we need to pay five dollars for a damn voice? I don't fucking know. But apparently you gotta pay five dollars to give it a fucking voice. I'm pretty sure it was five dollars, so let me go check actually. I'm gonna go to the Dead Space 3 store page. Um one ninety nine for a lot of them. Bot accelerator, bot capacity upgrade, and yeah, they're all four ninety nine. Oh my god! <laughs> the one, the one with uh, the the one that only gave the bot a voice is mostly negative. Well deserved. Oh my god, that that's deserved. That's terrible. The fact that they, oh my god, don't, don't ever buy the one to give it a goddamn voice. That's just a waste of five dollars. You could spend that on a decent game. But that's besides the point. Um, so yeah. Titanfall 2 is fixed, and there's rumors about Titanfall 3. Bam. Do, are they gonna happen? I don't know. Do I hope they'll happen? Uh, yes I do. I love Titanfall, or Titanfall 2, with all my heart, and I hope they make a third one. Now, where would I put it in my, it, 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 it's definitely top 5. My top 5 games are probably Terraria, number 1. Actually, no, these are no particular order. Terraria, Hollow Knight, Ultra Kill, Team Fortress 2, and Titanfall 2. They are all four such great games. They are all good games, and I love all of them. Payday 2 is probably number 6. I'm not gonna lie. Payday 2 is very good. I, I love Payday 2 also. But Titanfall, man, I have so many experiences with that game. I used to play it so much on my old Xbox. And, uh, well... Yeah, yeah, Titanfall, one of the best games. Though, however, if you uh, if you smart pistol, fuck you. Don't ever use smart pistol. Well, that's about it. See ya.
burning Titan. And that's the real beauty. Thank you.